Welcome, noble viewers, and welcome to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Today's show features Neil Patel, cancer survivor and founder of Chi Kri Yoga, who shares with us how positive thinking can help remove harmful influences from our bodies and minds. Neil Patel is an extraordinary young man who uses the power of thought to control a cancer that has affected his body for nine years. Despite doctor's prognosis, Neil's cancer has stopped spreading. This experience has opened up many doors for Neil in understanding the association between the spirit and wellness. Neil helps others by teaching Chi Kri Yoga and is also known as the Rapping Yogi, bringing his experiences and wisdom into his music. In an interview with Supreme Master Television in the United Kingdom, Neil Patel shares more about his philosophy of wellness. You know, I was diagnosed in 2000 with a sarcoma, which is a muscle tumour, um, which grew rapidly in the left thigh. Uh, it stopped me from walking, um, so I was on crutches for a little while. And, um, well, basically, I was going to... I was given a choice of taking chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery, but I realized that that would leave me an amputee from the hip down um, and also any way the cancer would, would spread in the body to the lungs and to the brain, which is the natural cause of sarcomas. Um, so I refused treatment immediately. Um, I left the country, I went to Mexico, I went to the Gerson Institute in Mexico where I stayed for a few months doing um, alternative therapies like juicing fasts. But then after a while I realized it wasn't the diets that were doing the work, but it was more the mental setup that I had. Um, when I first got diagnosed, I wanted to just change my mind because I thought that the mind was affecting the nerves, which would affect the biological body. So I went from the mind downwards. And now I control the cancer. And as again, as you said, it may be even considered to be a cure, literally by the mind alone and the power of thought. Neil echoes the message that we are indeed the creators of our existence and the full ability of our creative power is unknown to most of us. Much research has been done on the reactions of genes to thought, and Dr. Bruce Lipton is an expert in this field. His book, The Biology of Belief, in fact confirms what Neil Patel believes. The new sciences of epigenetics and quantum physics are revolutionizing our understanding of the link between mind and matter. You're not brought up to believe that you have power over your body. And when this diagnosis came to me, this is one of the things that went off my mind. Hold on a second. You're telling me that I need you to fix me. But what about the me inside me? There's something inside me that knows me better, surely, than your pills, right? Everybody in this room, at your very essence, you're feeling beings. You think that you're thought-based beings or you're physical beings, but actually, you're all feeling-based beings. Not in an emotional way. But you sense things with your sixth sense. That's how you move through everything that you do. And at that level, when there's a disturbance in how you feel, that's when it opens up into your thoughts and you begin making thought patterns based around how you feel. Fears, um, judgments, restrictions, limitations, things you won't change, you'll do this, you won't do that. And it's all based on protecting something that went wrong inside here. Then those thoughts speak to your nervous system they communicate themselves through your nervous system and finally they go to the cells in your body. And your cells will, talk, will listen to what the energy is coming down and they will adjust themselves according to what's going on up here. So your cell, every cell in your body is sitting there and it's taking in perceptions from the outside. When the perceptions come in, it goes in, it will adjust the proteins in the cell it will pull out the RNA, it will adjust everything that's going on. The DNA can change or unwrap itself or unwrap itself. The genetic engineering genes will come in according to the perception and then adjust everything that the cell is going to do according to what it picked up from the outside. From a very early age, Neil has lived with the benefits of yoga. He has been teaching for 17 years and believes that yoga is a fundamental part of achieving a balanced, healthy, and happy existence. Happiness is your immune system. Happiness, joy, love. Not, not receiving love, giving. 
If you're doing these things, if you're able to find a source to give love to, if you're able to be happy with the life you've got, that's your immune system, is, is your soul's happiness with being in your body. If your soul is not happy in your body, it will start to retire away from your body. As it retires, your body gets weaker. It decays quicker. Dis-ease sets in. That's all you need to know. If you're not happy, then go and make yourself happy. If you're not happy, don't sit there telling everyone about it. Change. Change stuff. Go and make yourself happy. You're watching Healthy Living here on Supreme Master Television. We'll be right back after these brief messages.